to Dr. Sturgis Incorporated, my math, he refused to give me a co-author credit. Sheldon, she doesn't want to hear about that. It's okay. So when your bones broke, did you hear a crunch? No. Did my dad have to give you mouth to mouth? No. I don't know how my mom kisses him. Whoa. What's that? It's a ghost detector that came in my cereal box. It's just a piece of paper. Then why did it move in my hand? From perspiration. Or ghosts. Morning. Did you check on Miss Hutchins? Is she still alive? Of course she is. Why? No reason. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast with her. Sheldon, just let her rest. It's okay. She enjoys my company. Also, she understands what I'm going through with Dr. Sturgis. Excuse me. I am just trying to help you grow up to be a functional adult. Me? This one's looking for serial ghosts. Looking for and found them. I don't care. You are not ready for college. If it were up to you, I'd still be in grade school. If you think this is mature behavior, it isn't. Being a mom's hard, isn't it? Sometimes. If you ever want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Oh, it's moving again. Oh, there we go. Nice little bite-sized pieces. Thanks, George, but I think I can manage. Oh, no. My pleasure. He feels so guilty, he'll do anything you ask him. That's enough from you. He bought me an Easy Bake Oven when he closed the car door on my thumb. Unlike my mother, who feels no guilt after hurting her children. How dare you? I am trying to keep you safe until such a time as you can make adult decisions. I can make them now. Hey, hey, if we have a guest, let's pretend like we like each other. <laughs> Merrick, do your grace thing. 